welcome to Bible Track Echoes, a ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher today is the director of Bible Tracks Incorporated, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches and individuals all over the world and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample packet of all of our tracks will be given at the end of this broadcast. And now for our Bible study, here's our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the broadcast today. Thank you so very much for joining us. I am in a great, great mood today, and you're going to quickly find out why as we get through the broadcast. Let me begin with uh, this statement. All in favor of hearing good news of the gospel's power to save teenagers, say amen. Well, okay, I'll just pretend I heard you say a hearty amen. Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. Welcome to Track and Truth Tuesday. This is the Tuesday edition, and each Tuesday we try to encourage each other in sharing the gospel, and we want to do that today. On the broadcast today, I want to tell you of 1,400-plus salvation decisions among teenagers. Uh, And these teenagers are not your polite little Sunday school kind of teenagers. Also today, I want to tell you about a young church planting pastor. He's 29 years old. He's in a small Illinois town trying to start a brand new church. He and his young wife were doing some door-to-door visitation two weeks ago, and as they went from house to house, they knocked on the door of a professional palm reader, a lady. She reads people's palms, tries to tell them their future. What would you do if you were in his shoes on her porch? Well, you stay tuned. I think you're going to like the end of this story. My friend, If you're a new listener, you are listening to Bible Tract Echoes, and normally we teach our way through books of the Bible. We're coming uh, this week near to the end of uh, the Gospel of Mark, but on our Tuesday broadcast, we particularly emphasize the using of tracts, the sharing of the gospel, trying to encourage each other, trying to sharpen our soul-winning skills, our ability to communicate the clear with clarity the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you're listening to one of those Track and Truth Tuesday broadcast. Right about now, I typically would advertise one of our gospel tracts in particular. Now, I am going to encourage you to get a hold of a sample packet of all of our English gospel tracts. When I get all done, my announcer is going to come back on, and if you would, listen, and he's going to give you three or four ways by which you can communicate with us, and if you give me your name and your address, our staff here will, in the very next business day's mail, put into the mail a sample packet that has one of each of our English gospel tracks. We we publish tracks. We do them in different languages. We give them away around the world free of charge. We do that as God enables us through his people. And if you'd like to see a sample packet and then think about becoming a track user, we want to be a partner with you. So please, you be ready as the announcer gives to you those means and you pick out the method of communication with us that best suits you. The, I do have in my hand though, a new tool, and this I can't give for free, but we have a, a new uh, DVD a, uh, that we did. We were asked by a local church in Colorado if we would be part of their missions broadcast or their missions uh, uh, program, and I couldn't be there in person, so I made a CD with three short uh, emphasis upon using tracks. On this DVD are three short presentations, about eight, to, about oh, six to eight to nine minutes each, and uh, the three titles on this DVD are this: What is a gospel track? Number two: Do tracks really work? That's my favorite gospel track story, by the way. And third: How can I use tracks? If you're looking to promote the use of tracks in your local church or just in your own life. Here is a DVD. You can pop it into your DVD player, and you can see me talking about using gospel tracks. 
As I said, this I can't give away for free. If you would like to have one, they are available for $10 a piece, and you can communicate with us using the information my announcer will give at the end. Now, one more thing. I am going to be interested in your feedback on today's broadcast in particular. To do that, you need to text message me. You can write me as and use the information my announcer will give, but if you'd like to text message me, let me give you some information. You can text me the word gospel to this number. This is just for text messaging. Text me the word gospel to area code 708-515-4086. Again, that number is 708-515-4086. Well, I want to read some verses out of Acts chapter 13 right now, and you'll see why uh, in a moment. Acts chapter 13, I begin reading at verse 6. And when they, that's Paul and Barnabas, when they had gone through the Isle of Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the sorcerer, for so his name was by interpretation, withstood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Paul, who was also called, uh, then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right way of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeing seeking some to lead him by the hand. I stopped right there. Many many of you can quote Romans 1, 16. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is a power of God unto salvation to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Now, many can quote that verse, but people live lives like the verse is not true. The young church-planting pastor I spoke of believes in the power of the gospel. When he was telling me the story of knocking on the door of that palm reader, you should have seen this young pastor's face just light up. The verses I read here in Acts 13 came flooding into that young pastor's mind as he stood on the door, on the on the porch of the palm reading lady that day. She was involved in the occult, but he had the gospel. He asked the lady if she knew if she were to die that day, if she was going to heaven or not. She said, no one can know that. Well, the young preacher then suddenly said to her, well, I thought you were supposed to know how to tell a people's future. Can't you even foretell your own future? Well, between that brief encounter, and he spoke, began the gospel presentation, between that brief encounter and a return visit by the preacher and his wife three days later, Again, the palm reading lady asked them to return. Between those two gospel encounters, the, the, the lady's life was pierced. This lady who had been, was involved in the occult, her sin-darkened soul uh, of that palm reading lady uh, was pierced by the power and the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And she came to know him, Jesus, that is, as her Savior. Now, I believe there may be a future in that young preacher's life to be a good church planter, don't you? He believes the gospel can transform any sinner, no matter what they've been involved in. Today, before I came into the broadcast booth, I spoke to a chaplain in Florida. He he and his workers worked primarily with teenagers in prison, not in jail, in prison, these teens have, have bought and sold drugs. They've sold their bodies into prostitution. They've committed multiple robberies, and a number of the teenagers have committed murder or multiple murders. As the teenagers go into these prisons, every single one of them gets one of our tracks, gets the new birth track. And, and friend, Gospel services are offered. Bible studies are available uh, through this chaplain and his team. And over the last three years, this chaplain and his team have seen over 1,400 teenagers in prison come to Christ as their Savior. 
I guess I should also tell you that this chaplain is no pushy, soft guy. Oh, this chaplain grew up in the Bronx of New York City area. He grew up in the Bronx. He's an Italian guy, and he he pulls no punches with anybody. He offers nobody a soft, meek, and mild Jesus. You know what he tells these teenagers in prison? He says this. He told me so this morning. He set, turns to the teenagers in their public meetings, and he says, who wants to get saved? And some hands will go up, and he says, now, you guys sinned against the public. Your crimes were judged before the public. If you are serious about receiving Christ, then you need to own Christ in public. He says, don't raise your hand. You come down here. If you're serious about receiving Christ, you come down here and stand before the other teenagers in this prison, and you tell them out loud that you need Jesus, and you tell them why. This guy He takes the gospel seriously. He believes the gospel can pierce the heart of hardened teenagers. And 1,400 plus of them in the last three years have come to faith in Jesus Christ. Now, this chaplain and his crew believe the power of the gospel. Do you? Do I? Who do I? Who does Mark Smith feel is not ever going to get saved or couldn't get saved? Who is it that you feel will never be able to get saved? They're just too far gone in their sin. Why is it that we feel this way? Are we doubting the power of the gospel? Oh, I'm glad that that young church planting pastor doesn't doubt the power of the gospel. I'm glad this Italian Bronx-born chaplain, 64-year-old chaplain in Florida, doesn't doubt the power of the gospel. And they both give it out without apology. They don't. They don't try to candy coat the gospel because they know that eternity is not something to toy with. People are either saved or lost, saved or lost, saved or lost. And friend, that's true for everybody. There, we, everybody in this world is either saved or lost. What about you, friend? Are you saved on your way to heaven and know it, or are you lost? You're a sinner and you know it, and you have no right to heaven. The gospel is Jesus loves you. He died on the cross. Your sin demanded payment. Jesus shed his blood. He died in your place that you through him, by him, can be saved. Have you received him? Oh, do it today, won't you please? I talked about text messaging. If today uh, you'd like to give me feedback on the broadcast, I'm going to give you the text messaging number again. But today, if you're praying and asking Jesus to save you from your sin, why don't you tell me? Text message me. Tell me, text me the word gospel, G-O-S-P-E-L. Here's the number again. I'll give it to you twice. Are you ready? Text me the word gospel to area code 708-515-4086. Again, text the word gospel to area code 708-515-4086. Dear friend of mine who knows Christ as Savior, don't be afraid of the gospel. We ought to know that Satan fears the gospel. Let's go into his territory with the gospel to lost people and give them the gospel and watch God work. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Track Echoes, a ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of all of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. That's 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. A faster way to contact us is to go to our website at BibleTracksInc.org. That's BibleTracksInc.org. There you will find more information about our ministry and details on how you can support Bible Tracks Incorporated. Thanks for listening, and may the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.